U-turn and then I U-turn and that's awesome. I'm, what did I just say U-turn? I am so ashamed of myself. See, I'm all off because I have the essay to do. I well chased it. Either way, I don't take any damage. Gonna go for the U-turn. Oh my god, I, my, my, my mind must be like totally scrambled. Gonna go for the wild chase. Gonna go into Flygon, gonna go for the safe wild chase. As he goes in the, he says we're predicting said wild chase. Just like last time, I'm gonna, I'm getting him fringing the taunt, so I'm just gonna go for the wild chase. I didn't say you turn, haha. I'm gonna stop wild chase predicting his wild chase, so he wild chases. Because I'm slower, like you already know, I get to wild chase second. This is an awesome play, because I'm just gonna go for the wild chase to take out the Celebi and the, and the wild chase, because it's double super effective. It's gonna take out the Celebi, like, because I'm choice banded and stuff. So Celebi gets a rape by that wild chase there. I'm gonna go for the wild chase, no super effective. So I figure he's just gonna fake out, so I go for the wild chase just to ha go for the wild chase. But he just wild chases himself to get some super effective damage off. So he wild chases first, so I can see what he goes into first. He ends up going into a bronze song, and I just wild chase. Go for wild chase, just predicting him to like, I don't know what he's gonna do, but I just went for wild chase because I, I knew I knew I'd be slower because I'm actually mine. For the wild chase, because I can and want to see what this thing's gonna do. So I wild chase off on the. I'm just gonna go for the wild chase. I'm just gonna go for the wild chase. Wild chase again, predicting a switch. And if he stays in, whatever, because I know wild chase will still do a lot. Goes no Lucario. I guess predicting that wild chase. 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 Looks so I do get the wild chase off, which is awesome. Cause wild chase to switch out and get some damage off. I do get a crit with this wild chase, but bother wild chasing or whatever. Speaking of wild chase, I've actually entered this tournament. So we have our my little. Fourth gen send off. I guess I'm just gonna be uploading a few battles, the last battles I've ever had on fourth gen, and the last battles I ever will have on fourth gen. Which you know, it's sad. It's an end of an era, and it's just it was really depressing sending everything over to fifth gen. And I'm getting a lot done in fifth gen, a lot faster than I thought, which is making my life pretty easy. So I should be so some fifth gen battles should be uploaded soon, probably starting with well, round one of Wild's tournament. So we have I, I never use battle fourth gen still against what is his name? Of course I forget because you know I always forget the name. Just remember how, it's Black Attack sixty four. Black attack with the 4 and the A thing. So I leave Espeon, he led with a Entei. I'm assuming it's going to be like a choice Entei, so I'm just going to switch straight out, predicting the fire move and go into my Gastrodon. But he actually just sets up a substitute, so it's some sort of sub variant. He actually wastes his sub here, just switches out straight away and goes into his Meganium to take the ground or water move. I do go for the water move just to play it safe, and he does go into that Meganium, and it does very little. Which sucks. I, c I could hit this thing with an ice beam, but I figured it still wouldn't do much because these things are usual usually special walls. I don't have any much investment in special attack anyways. So I'm going to go straight into my Charizard. I see the Leech Seed's predicting my switch or for me to stay in because he knows he can live any hit. And yeah, that's going to that's gonna suck. I'm just going to go for the safe fire move. Or do I go for the air? I think I go for the air slash half predicting his switch here, but still wanted to get some super effective damage in case he wanted to stay in. But yeah, he does go into Entei predicting the fire move, and I do make that great play. I go for the air slash. It does do a lot of damage since I am life orbed. And yeah, it does a decent amount. So I, I do take life orb and leachy damage, so I'm not I don't really want to stay in here because I will be I, I, I'll get withered down quite easily throughout the turn. So I am gonna be tempted to switch out here, so I just do that. Even though I do have the roost, I can roost up later if I do need the extra health later on in the match. I, I do I do go back in my Gastrodon again because I know I can wall this thing. I still sort of hidden power, which I thought was hidden power grass, but thank god it turned out to be hidden power electric because I'm immune to it. <laughs> Ooh, I was really scared that was HP grass. So he does switch out here. I'm just gonna go for the safe earthquake this time, I think. And I go for the ice beam predicting that actually Meganium to come back in, but he makes a great play and predicts my prediction and goes into a hypno, which can be a bitch in you because the thing has a ton of special defense. So I just, I just stay in, I want to see if this thing wants to do, if it wants to put anything to sleep, I might as well let Gastry down go to sleep since it doesn't really need to stay in, it doesn't, it doesn't really need to be awake, it just needs to take hits from the Entei, so I just stay in to see if he wants to sleep me, he does go for the Seismic Toss, if, just to get damage off, maybe thinking I'd switch, and I do, I do go for the Earthquake, and it does do a good chunk, so... Right here, I, I figured I could just stay in forever because I do have the recover and Seismic Toss isn't doing much thanks to my massive HP stat, despite my terrible HP IVs. I can just keep whittling him down. He does go for the wish here to show me that he does have a reliable recovery of his own, so this is really just going to be a stall war depending on who wants to switch out first. So we're just going to sit here, keep Earthquaking and Seismic Tossing each other until somebody decides that they want to switch. So that's what's going to be happening here. So. He's going to now switch, I guess, wanting to pass his wish off back into his um, Meganium here, figuring he could take any hit. And I switch as well, again, figuring that's going to be a Star Wars and go into my Sand Slash, which really sucks for me because I just switched Sand Slash into a Grass type. So I'm very confident that I can live any hit, whether it be the Energy Ball or the Giga Drain. I know I can live it because I did do a Calc, and I do live the Giga Drain. 
fairly handily, and I'm just gonna go for my stealth rocks because I gotta limit how much this guy is just switching, and I really don't want that. I want that enter to take a lot of stealth rock damage when it comes back in. So that was my method at a time just to get the rocks up for now. So yeah, I do switch out now because I kind of need my sand slash for later. And if he does have something to set up stealth rocks, I do want to be able to rapid spin them away later off in the match because that because I, I knew no Char my Charizard can be a big threat to his team. So I do switch going to Espeon. I can take any special hit. Gonna go for the safe trick here. I believe predicting the switch into his Hypno. If I remember correctly, let's see if I'm right. Uh, let's go, go, go. No, I go for the signal beam thinking he'd want to stay in. I guess thinking he may get more damage off on me. But in hindsight, I probably should work for the trick there. But his Entei does come in, takes very little. Another signal beam won't take it out. So I'm going to want to switch out here again. I'm going to go back into my Gastrion because, like I said, I can just switch into this Entei all day long. So it, he does show me he's one of them sub calm mind Entei's, which you used to see a lot back in the days before. Before Entei got Flare Bits and Extreme Speed, that's pretty much all Entei could do and didn't, didn't even do it that well. So yeah, it's one of them sub calm minding ones, which is kind of weird. Just like a pseudo Suicune or Entei or thing. So yeah, it goes for the plus one Fire Blast. It wouldn't have done much, but he does miss, which sucks for him. But like I said, it wouldn't have done that much. I mean, I'm not sure how much it would have done, but not much, because Entei is not that great special attack. I do get a crit on the Earthquake. Didn't matter. Did a calc. Didn't matter. And I actually didn't do a calc. I just know it didn't matter, because Entei isn't that great. Even with Flare Bits and Extreme Speed, it isn't that great of an NU Pokemon. So yeah, his first is down, he's gonna go now into Meganium, which I figured, I'm just, I'm fearing whatever, so I'm just gonna switch out and go into Espeon to take whatever he wants to do, and he just go for the Giga Drain, it does under half, which is really nice, and here, I kind of don't know what to do, I think I go for the trick again, here I go for the trick, I know I want to go for the trick here, because I had to cripple one of his walls, and this game is turning out to be pretty stall, and I just kind of want to let cripple one of his walls like I already said so I do go for the trick here get my choice scarf off and he does switch into the uh, into the hypno so that so I guess leftovers back which gives me some more health which is awesome because now with the leftovers I'm gonna be above 100 so I can take a seismic tile so that was pretty awesome so I'm gonna go for the shadow ball and it's gonna be an easy to KO at the very least and it does turn out to be a two KO as he just goes for the s toss and hits me down to nine hit points because seismic toss always does one damn I always does 100 damage so I'm just going to go for the Signal Beam to finish it off in case he wanted to switch back into the Meganium. Signal Beam was the right option, so I'm going to go for that Signal Beam, take out the Hypno, and things are looking up. Things are looking up indeed. So, yeah. Alright, so he's going to go now into his Sharpedo, and it's weird seeing a Sharpedo in, in Gen 4, because I'm, I'm, I'm still thinking speed boost, but you know, it's Gen 4, so there's no speed boost. Yeah, it just goes with the safe Aqua Protect mode. I figured he'd do this, but I kind of wanted to stay in and see what he wanted to do, so I'm going to go in A for the Horn. I know I'm fast, so I'm going to go for the safe Thunderbolt, I believe, or go for the, no, I go for the Empire Ice Predicting Magalium, and it turns out to be really, no, I, I thought I went HP Ice there, I should have went HP Ice. Oh, he goes into a Sand Slash of his own. Okay, fine. So I'm going to go for the HP Ice now. A Life 4 Pin Power Ice. I know it won't kill, but it will do a lot. And I'm thinking at this point, he's going to he's gonna rather go for the Stealth Rocks than the Straight for the Earthquake. Because he's, his Charizard, my Charizard poses a big threat to his team. And I know, I know he wants to wiggle that thing down a lot. So yeah, he actually goes for the Knock Off predicting my Switch instead. So he does Knock Off my Life Orb, which is kind of whatever, really. So I'm going to go for the second Hidden Power Ice to finish off the Sand Slash. And he does... And it does... Actually, I go for the Focus Blast. Weird. Why'd I go for the Focus Blast? I don't know what I was predicting there. That was just weird to show off. I don't even know. I should've went for the HP Ice. Whatever. Anyways, Focus Blast takes down the Sand Slash. He now goes into a Tauros. This thing's faster than my entire team, so it poses a huge threat. I just want to stay in to see if he's choice or not for his life orb, because I need the information on this Tauros, because this thing can completely rape face on my team. So he's going to go for the Earthquake, and it, and yes, he does show after the hero that he does have the life orb, which sucks, because if it was choice, I could have abused that and switched it into my Charizard. So with my physical wall half health, this thing's kind of a big threat. So I'm going to go into my ready. You know I could take any two hits, really. So I'm just going to go for the... Save, I think, Earthquake here, or maybe go for Ice Beam predicting Meganium, I'm not sure, let's see. I go for Surf to just go get some get as much damage on as possible, since Toss is more physical defense and special, I guess. Yeah, we just switch into the Meganium, and it does nothing. So this Meganium's being very annoying, but like I said, I do have my Charizard for it, so it still isn't that a big threat. I just need a good opportunity to switch into it, which would be right now. So I go into Charizard, he just go for the Grass move, and on side, he probably should have predicted that and went for the Leech Seed. A bit of a misplay for him, since the Charizard switch was kind of obvious, in my opinion. So I'm just going to go straight for the Fire Blast. I know it's going to do a lot to everything I've seen on this team so far. He does decide to switch into his Charpedo, and it cannot take a Fire Blast. Even Resistant Charpedo is just way too frail to take one. So that is going to actually surprisingly take it out at that much health, which is really impressive, because Life Orb Charizard is awesome. 
So down goes Sharpedo, which is cool. So yes, the Sharpedo's down. He has two guys left, and I'm gonna need Charizard to live for a bit. So he's gonna go back into his um, Chris Brown bowl thing, because you know I don't even know what the reference is to Chris Brown on that Tauros, but whatever. Yes, yeah, so I need to try I need to save my treasure for the Meganium, so I'm just gonna switch into Sand Slash's Death Bar. I don't need it for anything anymore because um I just don't need it for anything anymore, really. If the stealth rocks up, I probably wouldn't have death bar or this, I probably wouldn't have death bar or something else. But there was no stealth rocks up, so there's no real point of keeping Sand Slash for anything. So yes, he's just gonna hit me with two double edges and an earthquake and it's gonna take me out, so that's just kind of whatevs, so Cool story, bro. And this thing is faster than my entire team, so I had to, I can't go into Charizard to Revenge. I'm gonna go have to go into my Muck here because Muck can take any hit, even the Earthquake, because I know and I kind of want to show off the last member of my team because this was the last thing I, I EV trained and bred on Gen 4. It, it was this Muck because I felt like breeding a Muck, and I was like, yes, Muck. Yes, this Muck is awesome. So I'm just gonna be, he, Earthquake isn't going to kill me. Just gonna go for the Poison Jab to take it out, and this last is going to be a Meganium, which I can easily deal with. With my muck, I'm just going to keep poison jabbing it until it dies into an oblivion. So that is eventually going to be a good game. There's still a ton of the match to go, but yeah. So Meganium can't do much to me. He's going to set up some leech seeds and set up some stuff. But I do have, cur this is a cursing muck, so I can't just keep cursing. And if I die at any point in the game, I could just go into Charizard and Fire Blast it. And eventually it's going to die. So either way, it's a losing battle for him. And he probably made it, it was probably a mistake for him to just kind of stay and he should have just ran eventually, but I'm just gonna have to keep whittling him down and eventually defeat him because Muck should have reliable recovery, but it actually doesn't, which is annoying. So anyways, last two battles here, one more battle to upload is gonna be an OU battle that will be up probably later today, I don't know. I wanted to upload these a lot earlier in the day, but I've been sick for a bit. I think I still sound a little bit sick to my, in my opinion, but eh, I had to get these up soon, so yeah, I'm kind of sick and you know, I just had to deal with it, suck it up, and narrate some battles and such, and yeah, so breeding for 5th gen is turning out to be fun. Guess what I'm breeding right now? I'm breeding a Ferrothorn. Yes, I am. It's turning out awesome. Breed breeding, 5th gen is so much easier than 4th gen. If there wasn't level 100 at all, oh, god, whatever. See, see, as you can see, he's building me down with Giga Drain. It's not much to talk about in the match itself. I think I'm, oh, there I go, I went for Curse. I think that was a misclick, actually, but... Maybe I just wanted to get more damage off. I don't really remember. This battle was a few days ago, so... Either way, I am just going to keep poison jabbing him until he decides that he feels like it's right to kill me, because... After it, I'm pretty sure Charizard's Fire Blast can even take this thing out at full health, even if it is max special defense. But either way, he's going to finish me off here with a Giga Drain after the Leech Seed, and I'm just going to hit him with one last poison jab. And then I will go into Charizard for the win. So Poison Jab is going to do over half, which is quite kind of impressive since I don't run any attack EVs on this muck. So yes, he's down to red, back up the thing after lefties, and I'm going to get my leftovers recovery because I ran out of black sludges on my Gen 4 game. But that's a different story thing. Whatever. I see I'm running out of things to talk about. It's so stupid. Go on, die. Alright, now going into Raichu. Going for, going into right, Raichu. Going into Charizard. Going for the Fire Blast. Don't miss, which I can't I kinda of expected that I was gonna miss there, but whatever. Fire Blast gonna take out the Meganium. Great game. I have one more game to post as my last battles on Generation 4. So see you guys in Gen 5, I guess. And one more thing. Wild Chase.